Hello YouTube and welcome back to Cover 2 Credits. Today we are going to review a couple trailers for you from Comic-Con. Uh, we're going to start with Batman v Superman, DC's attempt to get into the superhero game a bit. This will be number two in their series after uh, Man of Steel. But really, the first one in their lineup that we've all been kind of waiting for. So, see what we got. Yeah. We'll pause and discuss. We're gonna play it over us like we usually do. Uh, we won't have any sound so you can kind of hear things. We might, we might tweak with sound, but if you haven't seen this, go watch it, come back, see if you agree or disagree with what we have to say. Today is a day for truth. The world needs to know what happened and to know what he stands for. That kind of power is very dangerous. So, this is something I thought was really cool. You know, up to now we've seen, uh, I think she's a senator and in, is talking about uh, Superman and trying to figure out where he lies and why. So nobody knows. Mm -hmm. This scene I like because of one, it's your first real glimpse of Batman, an older Batman. And two, if you remember Man of Steel, there, uh, this is a, it's another angle which is a cool thought. There are, you can go on Reddit and look and people have taken this this little bit little glimpse of image of uh, of Zod's uh, vision heat vision before going around, and they've side by sided this shot with the shot in the movie, and it's actually pretty cool looking to see it that way. But I thought this was interesting, just another side of the fight that you don't necessarily see. Let the record show that this committee holds him responsible. I also like this frame mainly because you just got done watching the hero run into the debris. You know, some people are saying uh, to understand the levity of this destruction that this is a 9-11 level destruction of Metropolis. That's how they're explaining it. Yeah. So, I, I thought... 9-11 level? It's a, mass destruction is what they're meaning. They're trying to e equivalate the... how much destruction this was. What? I don't know. That's going to be a whole other thing. What do you mean? Play, continue. They're just, they're just a reference. They're not, they're not like saying this was like I, a I, national tragedy. I know. Okay. I, I do like though that this is showing one of the reasons that Wayne was involved. Is because he had a building in Metropolis. Mm -hmm. Also, for reference, one thing they mentioned, and you'll see a little later in the trailer. He doesn't have a daughter. He doesn't, but this is just a girl he found in the, in the stuff. Uh, one thing that they, they mentioned is, in this universe, Metropolis and Gotham are across a bay from each other, like San Francisco, Oakland. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're close. So this makes sense. They, 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 in fact, during Comic-Con, they mentioned people commute from Gotham and work in Metropolis. So like that's a normal thing. So him having a, so Bruce Wayne having a financial building in Metropolis makes perfect sense. That's how it starts. The fever. The rage that turns good men. Cruel. This bat vigilante is like a one-man reign of terror. You don't get to decide what the right thing is. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. This means something. 
It's all some people have. It's all that gives them hope. So that little section you see quite a lot. One, you see there's an old mansion. So people are speculating that since this is an older Bruce Wayne, perhaps he didn't live in Wayne Manor anymore. And that's the rundown, dilapidated building you see somebody walking toward. Uh, Jeremy Irons is Alfred. You hear him talking, kind of words of wisdom if he can. Uh, I kind of like the way that they're showing Alfred so far. He's not the suit and tie butler. He kind of looks a little more gruff than that. Uh, this, this is an interesting scene because they're talking about how, like, some people see Superman as a god. So they made sure to show this in the trailer that it's like, some behind him kind of godlike. Like, yeah, exactly. Like exactly. People hate what they don't understand. Be their hero, Clark. Be their angel. Be their monument. Be anything they need you to be. Or be none of it. You don't owe this world a thing. You never did. Do you know the oldest lion? And the first look of Lex Luthor. Fuck ass kid. The problem people are having is with the hair. They hate the hair. It sounds like you look good haircut. I don't mind the hair because I have a feeling where they're taking that. Later on, we'll get to that. America, Senator. The devils don't come from hell beneath us. They come from the sky. One, you see the you see the scene that uh, Superman is bowing to Lex. Uh -huh. Obviously, no one knows the context, but we also see that someone has Zod's body, maybe for testing, mm -hmm. something. Uh, so somewhere along the line, people are, people are going to all this is speculation, but maybe Luther's got something on Superman to where he's. Blackmailing him almost. Uh, somewhere along the line, something's weird because that doesn't look like a kryptonite effect. That looks like he's just giving in to something. You know what I mean? So that'll be interesting. 20 years in Gotham. I mean, good guy. Do you know what that is? No. Look at the top row of the ha 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 ha. Look under the last A and H. Do you see anything there? No. Lean up here and look. And what is that? That is an R. So what that tells us is this takes place after the Joker has killed the Jason Todd Robin. In the comics, he kills him with a crowbar and just beats him to death. The one thing some people were worried about was that they were going to bring in a kid Robin. Mm -hmm. And they said that doesn't make any sense because if this was a reality, why would a, a adult take a child into combat? However, when you look at that suit, that's not a child. To where if they were to do something with Robin, it, that would make sense if it was an adult. Mm -hmm. Which is a huge worry people were having. Because in The Dark Knight Rises, Robin, they get a new Robin and it's a girl, Carrie, uh, Carrie Kelly, to where people are worried, wondering if that's something that could happen in this. Now, no one knows, we shall see. Also, interesting to see uh, a, a nod to a Batman villain right off the bat, the, the main Batman villain. As you left, how many stayed that way? Now, if you noticed, you got a glimpse of uh, Gal Gadot in the white outfit. Do you know who that is, the girl? We'll see her in a few seconds, but this scene is interesting to me. If you notice, see the logo right there on the shoulder? No. Well, there is a logo right there on the shoulder we'll see later. That is the Superman logo. Now. One thing that people are worried and are wondering about is what this militia has to do with Superman. Because mm -hmm. obviously Superman doesn't have an army. Uh -huh. Now obviously any time that there is someone new that people are thinking is going to take over, like a god 
or a king, people will fight for them. So somewhere along the line, this has become a thing. No one really knows what this is, what's going to happen to this, but we see them again later on. He has the power to wipe out the entire human race. Now, a scene straight out of the Dark Knight Returns comic. If you were to go grab that, which we have here, you can instantly see the suit. Now, one thing that Zack Snyder made sure to point out is, this suit is not to increase his strength. That's not what the suit's for. Mm -hmm. The suit is to keep him alive when Superman is beating the hell out of him. It's to protect Batman, not to hurt Superman. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the emphasis on this, because a lot of people during Comic-Con were saying, you know, do you have an equivalent of how much stronger Batman will be? And they're like, that's that's not it. That's not it. This is meant to protect him, not to it's make him stronger. It's defensive armor, exactly. not uh, bio-enhancing armor. Exactly. Now I have to destroy him. things here. One, for some reason we're going to get another flashback of the Waynes dying. Always happens. Two, we saw Gal Gadot's character again, who now you know is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Uh, and this is the first scene of her in action. You're going to go to war. Is not our enemy. Now, a couple things there. One, we don't know who Alfred's talking about, whether he's talking about Lex Luthor or whether he's talking about Superman not being their enemy. So that could be a, a weird twist. But this is how I think Luthor goes bald. I think he gets some kind of a radiation from the uh, kryptonite and he loses his hair. Would be. I kind of hope that's how. I know that sounds bad, but I, I don't like the hair either. Because he is bald, but it's whatever. Just hair. Yeah, I know, Why but. so ragey about you looking here? Well, that's not it. It's the fact that the character is known for being bald. That's part of, I don't know. It, and it could just be. One, one, yeah, I, I agree. It's just weird haircut, but either way. So that'll be interesting to see what the dynamic is between Alfred and uh -huh. what's going on. Black and blue. God versus man. Day versus night. The red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. Now, one thing you hear, you heard Luther talk about the red capes. Some people are wondering if that's what that militia is called, or if he's just making a joke about Superman. Either way, we don't know. There, you also saw a Batman in a trench coat in the desert fighting those soldiers. No real context there. This I like though because you get to see the size of Batman compared to Superman, where they're not that different in size. Like he's gigantic. In also, you see kind of a smashed up Batmobile, but that's besides the point. I mean, it'll be interesting to see the takes on a few things, but um, so I, I like the trailer so far. So, what do you think? I know this is only the second time you've seen it. Um, what are your thoughts? I don't know, it's a cool trailer. It brings in a lot of stuff, but it makes me wonder what they're going to do in that movie. It seems like they brought in a lot of characters that they haven't really, they aren't going to have time to really explain. Problem's going to be, I have a feeling there's more than what they're showing. Uh, the reason I say that, again, a lot of this is speculation, but there are rumors of, well, you see somebody swimming, 
there are rumors that we may get a nod to Aquaman. Uh, obviously, you never know if there's going to be a nod to anybody else from the Justice League. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also rumors that there could be a big bad introduced, as in like a, a doomsday or somebody really like a big, big bad, mm -hmm. which could be, which could be a whole other ball of wax. Because uh, like they were talking about, you see, you see Wonder Woman and her gauntlets together and it makes like that weird force field thing. Mm -hmm. That's usually not a power she has. So the wonder is if she's blocking something and then the next scene is something else blowing up. We don't I mean it's a trailer. You don't know, but we don't know. I think I think it looks it looks interesting. I'm definitely wanting to see it. I mean, yeah, obviously. definitely see it. Like I said, I just I don't know how it's gonna end out. Like I said, it seems like they're gonna have a bit too much. They're biting off a bit too much movie to put in one movie. Well, I mean, the, the thing that's gonna be weird is they've got to kind of hit the ground running. And I know it sounds weird, but if I'm remembering correctly, it goes Batman, Superman, in what was it? March mm -hmm. or April, something like that. Uh, ju uh, Suicide Squad in August. I think the following year is Wonder Woman standalone, and then I think it's Justice League. So they've got to introduce people at some point, mm -hmm. and they're doing it kind of the opposite way of Marvel. Instead of solo, solo, solo Avengers, they're doing it Avengers uh, solo, solo. Exactly. Well, Justice League and then... Justice League! Assemble! That also has to get said sometime. But, so, you know, we'll, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the movie. I, I think Kevin said he is too. We'll see what happens. I don't know if they'll have another trailer before the movie comes out. I, I would assume so. But we'll see how that goes too. Uh, but this is the first of two trailers we're going to do today. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what you guys think. If you guys have any input, let us know. Talk in the comments below if you think anything's way off base or if, if you think you're looking forward to this or not uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of comes of it so until next time thanks for staying until after the credits